what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, connect a godaddy domain or a domain that you bought on godaddy.com to your shopify store so let's get right to it first of all as you can see right here i'm on my shopify store so i've set up like a test store just to uh, show you the process and now uh, if we go to settings right here on the Shopify store from the menu on the left, you'll see here that uh, there is like a uh, a link or a URL to my store uh, that is created by Shopify. So that's like a generic uh, like URL or website address that is generated by uh, Shopify and you can use it for free for your store. However, if you already bought a domain name from GoDaddy, uh, you should be able to connect it to your Shopify store and uh, let it show when someone enters it in the address bar. So from here, from the uh, settings, you want to go to domains uh, right here. Click on it. And here under domains, you can find the option to buy a new domain or connect an existing domain that you already purchased. So here it shows the domain name, the current domain that is generated to you. And by the way, it's absolutely free. You do not have to pay for it. Now, uh, let's click here on connect existing domain. And here, if I go to GoDaddy, that's my GoDaddy account, and go to my name right here on the top right, and then click on my products. You should see here that I bought a domain name. That's the domain name I have from GoDaddy, how to sample.site. So if I copy it, copy, and then go to Shopify, and then paste the domain name, hit next, Okay, now that I entered my domain name, it asks me to verify the connection and to verify that I already own the domain name and to connect it properly and successfully to my Shopify store. So let's click here on verify connection. And in here, you want to add these uh, codes or like records into your GoDaddy uh, like domain page. So here, if I go to products, let's click on manage here uh, or you can directly click on DNS next to manage. If you do not find this DNS button or DNS option or like it can say manage DNS or something like that, you can click on manage and it'll show up in the menu on the left. So here I'll just simply click on DNS. So as you can see, it opens up the settings page and here you can see the DNS tab. It's opened uh, by default. And if you click on manage, it'll open this same like menu and you can click on DNS. So here I have uh, many records. And let's take a look really quickly. Here you have an A record and a C name that need to be added. So let's uh, click here. Let's add a new record. The name is A. Okay, I see. Now you should copy the name and the value here to paste them. So the name is only at. So let's copy it. Enter it right here in the name. And now for the value, you need to enter like the this value right here. Okay. In the value. And then the TTL, you can just leave it as it is. It doesn't matter. And then save to add this record. Okay, updating DNS records. And now your record is added. And now you want to add the second one. That's the C name here. Okay, so here you want to click on add a new record and now from the options you want to click on c name to choose to add a c name record now let's go back now the name should be www okay copy it paste it right here in the name and then the value just highlight this one this value copy it and then paste it right here and the TTL always you can leave it as it is click on save so here it gives me an error so if it does that just go ahead and view the records and make sure there are no other uh, www records available so this is one from uh, a connection that I was showing or I was uh, trying on a Google site so I'll just delete it so if you see any www values or C names just go ahead and delete them so I'll delete the record Okay, and now it's uh, deleted. Now let's try once again to add this value from Shopify. Make sure the name and the uh, required value are the same. So 
uh, you can go ahead and copy them or click on copy right away to copy the name and value so i'll just click on copy and th then for like good measures i'll just paste it right here and then copy the required value and then paste it right here once again click on save and now it's updating dns records and now the record is added so now i've connected successfully my domain name that i bought on godaddy to my shopify store and now once we entered uh, all these details go ahead and click on verify connection it says the a record is uh, not like uh, working so let's add it once again and let's go to uh, godaddy to delete the uh, old one so here we will delete these ones just to make sure we did the right connection okay the and the other one with the at name okay delete this one as well and now let's go ahead and copy add a new a record of course let's go back add a new record it's an a sorry it's an a record and in the name let's copy the at here and then the value let's copy the required value paste it right here and then save and now it's added let's go ahead to shopify and verify the connection okay now of like here okay now the connection is verified however it'll say right here ssl pending on how to sample uh, dot site because it might take up to like a couple of hours or maybe 24 hours or more so to verify the connection and make your website live so if we try to go to the address bar now and type in how to simple dot site click enter as you can see it now like uh, made the connection right away however i haven't edited like my store yet but you can see that it redirects me to the shopify the page like uh, by shopify it now uh, says opening soon and as you can see it is powered here by shopify and as you can see it's powered by like shopify so we made the connection right however here uh, like let's skip to content okay it doesn't show any content because i haven't like edited or created uh, like my store yet haven't customized it in the theme editor and plus we uh, didn't wait for the connection to like fully integrate the domain name to our shopify store so it might need like a bit of time to fully integrate them and show your store so that's it that's basically how easy it is to connect your godaddy domain name to your shopify store